Keenan's Customs. Finally got a high definition video camera. Thanks YouTube, thanks Sony. Okay, this is our 99 Dodge Dakota project. 474.4 small block. Hughes Racing. Dot com. Hughes Engines. Best you can get. This is 426 Stroker K1 Technology. Carrillo and connecting rods, 6.125 inch. Custom dish pit, pistons and pins, 4.225 inch. Block is a R3 Mopar Siamese 4 bolt main racing block. Intake, Hughes F1 air gap intake manifold with custom fuel pump rails and lines, which Chris at Performance Injection Equipment is doing for us right now. Throttle body, uh, 1050 CFM, 55 millimeter. Heads, Modified RT Stage 4, which is kind of new for Hughes engines. Assembled with racing valves, 2.055 inch intake and exhaust, 1.650 beehive springs. Compression ratio is 10.7 to 1 on this sucker. Roller rockers, 1 to 6 1 ratio, that's Hughes. Hydraulic roller lifters, Hughes custom cam for it. ECU's Hughes High Performance Stage 3 with Chris Hutchinson's 3 tune SCT scanner, Chris Hutchinson performance ejection equipment, air box, Mopar High Performance with Hughes, Hughes Custom air filter, which you see there. That's, that's the normal KN, and, and that's the new one. <laughs> Custom headers, Spin Tech 178 inch primary with port plates. Thank you, Spin Tech. Spin Tech, we might need uh, your X pipe run out in front of the tires. MSD ignition coils. We go with Knology hot wires. We're a distributor on them. We love Knology. Uh, Griffin custom radiator. Griffin's right on the street from us, South Carolina. It's back there. Flow cooler, performance water pump. I don't know where my dad has that. Flow cooler. Forgot where it's at. Uh, not going with just Jeff Johnson's built uh, fab race, uh, racing oil pan. Maroso's making this one. Thank you, Maroso. Thank you, Comp Engineering. It's got a dual remote air filter. It's got the ANA custom built. 518 trans, 3200 RPM, 9 inch billet stall converter. Custom, it was custom built for a 468 cubic inch, but Hughes got a little bit more out of it. Mag High Tech differential cover. Thank you, Mag High Tech. As you can see, it's right there. Competition engineering slide link traction bars, which are coming to hold these springs right here, bolt on. Sidewinder.com, Darren. Sidewinder getting us the Viper brake conversion kit. We're getting the Viper brakes. Uh, Boyd, probably gonna go with Viper wheels. 18 by 10, but we've been doing Boyd, business with Boyd forever. Uh, we're gonna give you a call. We even got Boyd motorcycle wheels. We got Boyd trailer wheels. We have Boyd's. We even got the ones with the center caps. I mean, this boy Connison, you know, to make us some high performance. Well, we want to go with 18, so we have some more rubber on this thing. And the inside is going in this 99 Dodge Dakota extended cab. It was originally RT. As you can see, it's got carbon fiber all inside. It's got Robert Fosgate. It's got two MTX tins. I don't see you can't see them good right there. Everything's painted, Pace Edwards, electric cover. It's got a bed rug in it, carpet in the back. These are all parts in the back, but it's carpeted inside the back. It's bed rug, we're a distributor on them. Distributor on heat shield products. Heat shield's kind of hard to deal with, so we just got into a new, pro new pro uh, product out of Charlotte, North Carolina. I'll give you all the information about them. They're real good. We like these exhausts and everything. 
But I think we're gonna go with three inch X from Spintech. Even the license plate comes down. You know, we have a reseach in there and everything like that. This is the next project. Price of 300C, Chris Hutchison, SCT turbocharger. Might be going on it. Uh, we already got the fajita air intake, the SRT uh, sprint, uh, shocks and springs and everything. And the SRT front end, because the front end didn't match when they re had to paint it. So we're just going to go with the SRT front end. It's already got the chrome, it's got the my gig in it and everything. It's 5.7 liter, it's going to have more horsepower. Put a Diablo on it too, we got in there. It's got more horsepower than the SRT 10, a lot more. And it'll run off four cylinders. And that truck, by the way, does run off 93 octane. But we're probably going to wrap this. We're getting into wrapping. So next project, it's going to be something controversial. Something kind of about Obama or something, probably. Probably Obama on it. And George Washington beside him, crying as Obama rips up the Constitution. And that's just the way we feel down south. Everything's going not by the con uh, Constitution. That's the next project. So, Moroso, we're waiting on your oil pan and sidewinder. Get the brakes and everything. Oil pan to slide a link. Then get the brakes. We're ready to slide it in here. Everybody's going to come, come down to dyno it. He's racing. We want them to be there. a and a transmission is going to be there. Chris Hutchison, performance ejection equipment. He's going to be there. Oil, oil pan and Moroso is going to be there to dial this thing in exactly right because there's a lot of money in this Excel uh, fuel injectors. Everything like that, uh, I mean, it's got everything. This thing is bad. At idle, this engine right here, car brand, dyno from Hughes without all the other stuff. At idle, 3,300 RPM, a little over idle, 569 foot pounds of torque and 357.5 horsepower. And at 5,300 RPM, 603.5 foot-pounds of torque and 609 horsepower. That's not including the oil pan and the intake and all that stuff. All right, that's the 99 Dodge, Keenest Customs. That's how we do it.